The Panasonic DVX200 is a portable and extremely capable professional 4K camcorder. To highlight those strengths, we're taking it outdoors to show you what it's capable of. At the front, we have our lens hood with a retractable curtain to protect the lens. On the lens, there's the focus, zoom, and iris rings. Down the barrel further are settings for exposure, focus, and white balance. Covered by a pair of plastic covers are the dual SD card slots and audio settings. The other side of the unit houses the audio and video in and out, as well as DC power and a headphone line. On top, there's a flip-out LCD monitor, a viewfinder that automatically turns off the display when in use, and a pair of zoom and record buttons to accommodate whichever way you hold the camera. On the lower record button, there's the on and off switch. Let's flip that on to show you the interface. Now on the screen, you see your time code, card status, recording format, current setting selected, audio levels, iris value, focusing and zoom distance, shutter speed, gain, and battery levels. Before you start to compose your image, make sure that the basics are covered first. Begin by placing a full battery into its compartment and a formatted SD card. Then, choose your record settings and frame rate. For most instances, this is 4K at 30 frames per second. If you're recording external audio, make sure that your XLR cable is plugged in, your inputs are set to the correct channel, and that the camera is recognizing an input. Let's talk about exposure. The Panasonic has four main ways of adjusting your exposure. First is the iris, found at the front of your lens. Its values are designated by f-stops. In the photography world, iris is known as aperture. A good rule of thumb is to keep your shutter speed at twice your frame rate to avoid choppy or blurry footage. If your frame rate is 30 frames per second, then your shutter speed should be at roughly 1 60th of a second. Now if you follow this guideline for shutter speed, your image might be overexposed in daylight or other bright light. To combat this, the Panasonic DVX200 comes with built-in ND filters. ND, or neutral density, helps reduce light from its original value, keeping shutter speeds low. Lastly is gain. Gain is an artificial increase in light sensitivity used when iris and lighting techniques cannot effectively compensate for the dark environment. There is a low, medium, and high gain option. To help gauge your exposure, there are a couple of tools for you to use. First are zebra lines. These can be set to 80% and 100%. 80% tells you when skin tones are overexposed, and 100% tells you when the scene is overexposed beyond recovery in editing. Color temperature is measured in degrees Kelvin and corresponds to the coolness or warmness of your environment's color. Artificial light is warmer, around 3200 Kelvin, and daylight is typically cooler, around 5500 Kelvin, but this varies, so the best way to adjust your white balance is with a simple piece of paper, like this. By placing something that is true white in front of the camera and holding the white balance button next to the lens, the camera will automatically set the correct white balance, now that we have our lighting and color correct, it's time to focus. What good is a perfectly lit subject if they are a blurry mess anyways? First, choose auto or manual focus. If the subject is stationary, manual focus will do a good job. To help you manually focus the camera, you can use the help of autofocus to guide you. Just press the push auto button and it will focus you automatically. For more granular changes and to shift focus, use the focus ring at the front of the lens. There are focus assist tools to highlight areas of the frame that are in focus for an easy visual guide. Before you hit record, zoom in to make sure that your subject is in focus. If it is a person you're recording, use the leading eye as the focus point. When that is set, you're ready to record. 